Hey guys, so we're start starting day 7 I think in Rome and we're just buying metro tickets to go to the city center because we live like 20 minutes away from the center and um, yeah, I will vlog from there. We'll go to Trevi Fountains, Coliseum, um, Piazza di Spagna, and all the kind of must visit places. And whoa, I will vlog from there. Guys, look where we came. And it's not raining. Amazing. So here is the Coliseum. If you want, you can take a guide, which is um, 30 euros for one person. So to get inside Coliseum and hear about its history, you're gonna pay 120 euros for four person. How about that? I've been to Coliseum inside before when I came to Rome. So for me, it's not, you know, a must see. You can just walk around with my parents. Uh, obviously want to see inside where the gladiators were stuff like that so this is how I look 80% of the time here in Italy because it's so cold but we are going where the sunshine is and it is right in the Coliseum see here just got um, tickets for the entrance we didn't need to wait like half an hour people claimed 15 minutes maybe oh it's finally sunny you can be actually very sneaky and listen to the tour guides that other people have here's where the action was where many gladiators fought and people were killed eaten by animals it was built 2000 years ago so you can see just the ruins the underground <laughs> The trees are very beautiful here. Spotted a gladiator. We took a bus tour with some guide so we will visit the city this way and you can stop and get out wherever you want and then come back to the bus um, so yeah I will see you around when we get to some beautiful place This is a very popular church for the weddings and now it's a place like headquarters of the Council of Rome. built in 
Here's Vatican where the new Pope Francis resides. Piazza Venezia. We are going upstairs. It's so cold, I'm all frozen. We came some somewhere. I'm shaking from the cold actually. Is the famous wolf, the symbol of Rome. Guys, if you come to Rome, bring all the warmest things that you have in your wardrobe because otherwise you will freeze. I can tell you. So we're going closer to the Spanish stairs. Um, and Trevi fountains because we have to see those and on the way we'll stop to eat somewhere because it's lunch time already and you have to be quick with your lunch because it's like that in Italy if you don't eat during lunch time then you'll not find a place to eat how incredible is it? Stop that to eat lunch. Here's my macarons with pesto. That's carbonara. My mom's and my brother's pizza. And my fresh orange juice. Yummy. Wow, I suppose there will be a Helmut Newton exposition. Oh, I would love to go see that. What we have? to get to Trevi Fountains now.
finally came next to Trevi Fountain. Simply gorgeous. Ah, it's so beautiful. So guys, we're going to the Spanish stairs after our lunch and on the street there was a shop for iPhone cases so I got a white bunny <laughs> My iPhone will have lots of outfits now Yeah, it's full of people everywhere Oh, Sephora coming soon just in front of the Spanish stairs here and it's so crowded so some more stairs guys in this trip I'm climbing everywhere in churches, mountains, hills, <laughs> everywhere. It's quite beautiful here. Actually it's more like not for the beauty but just because it became the meeting place I suppose. So sunny guys. Beautiful view. such a gorgeous place you can see the whole scenery of the city from here just incredible hey guys so we are in this beautiful place I don't really know where it's located or how it's called but you can see like the whole scenery of the city here it's just so beautiful I spotted Garibaldi didn't even know how he looked like who's this mister here Salvatore Salvatore Greco wow and it's so sunny compared to the weather yesterday today is just amazing Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at this guys. You must come to Rome. Yeah. Because it's gorgeous. Guys, we are coming to a very gorgeous place. And the sun is super bright. Mm -hmm. 